Penstar, and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. So today we're going to cover the library. Now the library is a very important room for your campus, no matter what subjects you're running. Could be robotics, could be science, could be anything. Everything requires the library. Well, that that's a slightly misleading statement. Allow me to explain. For assignments, regardless of the class, every class has a different set of objects that are needed by your students to complete their assignments. And the initial objects can vary wildly, but in amongst those objects are always going to be the study cubicle, the textbook cubicle, the computer cubicle, and the records cubicle. These four items, plus the library itself, are all needed to complete it, no matter the course. When a student finishes up a class, they will have an assignment to complete. And while I don't know the under the hood math that goes on with this, it seems that they are somewhat randomly assigned one of these objects from whatever class they're taking to perform that. So a good chunk of the time, they'll find themselves in the library, but not always. Not literally every student will end up in the library to do their assignment, but that's that's still good. And we still need to build the library. Now the library is interesting in the way that it treats capacity. You can see up here, we have a minimum size here, but we can also see up here, there's a room capacity. This is one of a few rooms that determines its capacity based on the actual physical size of the room. However, this formula is, I don't know the exact numbers for it, but it's kind of weighted. So if we do the bare, bare minimum of a three by three, the room can hold nine people, which actually isn't too bad for this small of a space, but this does not make a good library. We can't fit everything that we need in here. So what I've found is if we add some more spacing along here and make this thing a four by five, this is a good and proper library. Making it a four by five gives us a total of 12 people. But more importantly, it can fit everything that we need in it. Now for the door, I like placing the door at the end of one of the long sides here. You don't want it all flush against the corner. You want it halfway between those tiles like that. So not, not right there, just one smidge meter over. For the reception, you have two different options. Unlock from the start is the basic library reception, but we're in the big leagues here. We, we want the big boy, the giant library reception. And we want this because it is that 8% learning power boost. There's nothing else really in the library that boosts learning power besides the librarian themselves. So getting this on the floor and helping your students out is a good thing. And this library is built with this in mind. I mean, you can use the little one if you don't have have the big one unlocked and don't have enough kudosh for it, but get the big one when you can. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. You place it against the wall on the same side as the door. For the regular bookcases, so when a student rolls the library itself, not a specific cubicle, but just the library itself, they're gonna go looking for these generic bookcases. Check them out and bring them over here. And we want that little loop to be taken care of quickly. So we want these right up here at the front. Do your best to butt them exactly against the wall. Use control squeezing if you need to because this is gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. But you should be able to squeeze in three bookcases. We're gonna skip past some of the others here. We're gonna go right down to the records cubicle. This is one of the objects that can be required for students completing their homework. Now these things are kind of bigger than most of other things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick them in the two corners in the back here. One over here and then one over here. Make sure the chair is facing inwards like that. So now the study cubicle, the textbook cubicle, and the the computer cubicle are all three different objects and any one of those could be potentially needed for a student's assignment. Now we just put down one of them. If you have two students that need the same object, they're gonna have to wait in line. That wastes their time, that wastes our time. So I'm putting in multiples of everything. In fact, multiples of two. So we're gonna do two study cubicles and we're gonna put it right here in the middle. You want the chairs facing each other like that and you want the middles butted up against each other like that. So two 
two right there, and then the computer, one, two. And now comes the sort of the wild cards. You have three more slots in this one here. One right here, and then two against the wall over here. These three remaining slots can be used for different specialized bookcases. So whatever bookcases your school happens to need, they're all pretty much the same size and space. Put them in there. Oh no, so I lied about that. They, some of these do have increased learning power. Getting extra one of these specialized bookcases in here is good, but these are also needed for that subject's assignment. That being said, they're not called on very often, so you shouldn't need multiples. You should be just fine with one for each subject, a total of three subjects. Besides the bookcases, put decorations on the floors and the walls as you see fit. You should be able to get this library up to a prestige level of seven or eight. It's not getting it, maximizing your prestige is not quite as important as it was with the dorm room, but certainly doesn't hurt. Get a temperature fixer, put it on the very end over here, and don't forget to get yourself a bin over here as well. Students will very frequently take litter into the library and you want to give the ones that at least know how to use a bin a place to throw it. And Viola, we have ourselves a library. Now one other thing to note in here, your libraries can have host additional staff beyond the first. Should they? Nah. Money's a bit tighter in this game and throwing extra staff into a room doesn't really help its efficacy. I would just keep it at one and just maybe have an extra staff on rotation so when your librarian takes a break someone can fill in for a while so let's see it in action shall we so usually after a class lets out you'll see a good salvo of people come in here some will be going right to the shelves some actually need to take out books some need to return books. That's another benefit to having the big one right here. The book return is right next to the door. Others will be seeking out the specialist shelves and others need the specific cubicles. Also, one little note here. See this little red dot symbol? I've seen a lot of questions flying around online. What the Sam heck is this? This means that the room is at capacity. Remember, we only can hold 12 people in here. And at the moment, this room has 12 people, but there's more than 12 objects on here. So we can never actually literally have everything being used at the same time, but that's okay. The flexibility is more worthwhile. And still 12 people is a pretty darn good thing. You're gonna get little bursts of activity and little spats where the library fills up. I think it is still worth it for the capacity, especially given how big you need to make the footprint to expand the capacity by just a little bit more. Also, so adding additional staff does not increase capacity. But as you can see, everybody has their own cubes. Everyone has their own assignments. There is room for everyone and everyone has a place. In this particular level, we're in Spiffenmore. So I've got Wizarding, Dark Magic, and Night School. So I have their accompanying bookcases here. But whatever subjects you happen to be teaching, just swap those in. They all have the same footprint. They all have the same base stats of that 5% learning power. So having extra specialty bookcases in here is is a good thing. If you wanted to be a little bit greedy, you could swap out one of the vanilla bookcases for a fourth specialty bookcase, but I like the added ability to have three of these because sometimes you'll get a swarm of people that all just want the vanilla bookcase, and this helps them get their books faster. So I hope you found this useful. This may be a little bit on the expensive side, but the library is worth it. Trust me. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!